Today, we stand really at a unique juncture in human history, facing challenges that are as diverse as they are profound. Pose a toast to our intrepid friends who braved the Cross Bronx Expressway and two dozen toll booths to be with us here this evening. May your buildings go condo. Now, Lydia, favor us about your ghosts. No. I am sick of that subject. Oh, dear, you lighten up. I would rather talk about... Geopolitically, our world is more interconnected, yet, paradoxically, more divided and fragmented than ever. Anuri, no Yuyua, na wa hon shina vo punk and tushina shavawa ki, shina mo kikirani, tsai shavakirani, tsai mo kikirani. Trust is not just a feeling. Trust is a commitment to action, to belief, to hope. To achieve this, we must rediscover and embrace the narrative that has driven humanity since its inception, acting as trustees for a better future. This narrative is about, isn't about short-term gains or individual successes. It is about stewardship, about preserving and enhancing our world for current and future generations. As trustees of the future, we are responsible for advancing a world which is richer in possibilities, more equitable in opportunities, and more secure in its foundations. <laughs> While the vibrant atmosphere surrounding our gathering is a testament to its global significance, it is essential that we focus on our mission committed to improving the state of the world. No more king. We're going to elect a president. No more king. He's going to do what the people want. No more king. We're going to run things our way. No more king. Nobody's going to tell us what to do. To rebuild trust, there's a fundamental need to embody trusteeship, which means to care for the greater good. Let's use this annual meeting to rebuild trust by exercising our trusteeship individually and collectively for safeguarding the future 
of humanity and nature.